Hi friends, welcome to Step to Digital Marketing. I'm Sarpal Kaur. Do you want to get a domain that is already developed? Developed means they have a good reputation, indexing, ranking, backlinks, and all. You need not worry about its SEO and the ranking. You have to just buy that domain and start traffic within a few minutes. Then you are at the right place. In today's video, we are going to explore the way by which you can find the best developed domain and get benefits. As we know, we can buy any domain for some years, like for one year, two year, or up to ten years. After this time, domain expired. You have to renew it to get its ownership again. If you want to know about what are expired domain, then first explore this to have a better understanding about it. An expired domain refer to a domain name that has not been renewed by its original owner before its expiration date. Domain names are registered for a specific period, usually from one year to ten years, and need to be renewed to maintain its ownership and control over the domain. When a domain registration expires, the owner typically have a grace period during which they can renew the domain without any additional cost. However, if the owner fail to renew that domain within the grace period, it become available for the other people to register. And this is where the term expired domain comes into play. There are many companies and individuals who are paying a lot of money for SEO and for ranking. It requires a lot of a wait time to get a result. But what if you get already developed a domain and you just redirect the traffic from your old domain to expired one, or you can design a new website on the expired domain after you have purchased that? Isn't it amazing? Buying an expired domain involves many steps. Let's discuss those all. The first step is the renewal grace period. After the expiration date, most of the domain registrar provide a grace period during which the domain owner can still renew the domains without any additional fees. The period of this grace period varies from uh, company to company, but it is typically around 30 days. In these 30 days, the owner can repurchase this domain and get control over it. The second step is the redemption period. The redemption period means if the domain owner failed to renew the domain during the grace period, it enter into the redemption period. This period is an additional time frame, usually 30 days, during which the owner can still reclaim the domain by paying a some extra amount or a redemption fees, which is typically higher than the regular renewal price. There are very less chances that the real owner pay higher charges, so the next 30 to 45 days fall under this category. This means total 30 days of a grace period plus 45 days of a redemption period. So these are total 75 days. The third step is the pending delayed period. If the domain is not redeemed during the redemption period, it enter into the pending delayed period which is typically last for about 5 days. Some domain registrars and third party services offer the option to place a back order or a bid on the some valuable expired domain. These services allow any business or individuals to express their interest to have a control over those expired domains once it is available for bidding. From day 30 to 75, there are the chances to buy an expired domain and get all the active backlinking for this. 30 days for grace period, 45 days for redemption period, and 5 days for a delete period or a bidding days. These are total 80 days now. If the domain is not sold in the bid, the domain become available for registration by anyone after the resetting its all data like its backlinking, its traffic and all. It is released back into the pool of a available domain and can be buy as a fresh domain. The very next question comes in our mind is from where to buy these domains? Well, there are many websites you can go, but expireddomains.net is the one where almost all the expired domains get registered for bidding. The expired domains gives you a list of expired domains and this shows the number of domains available. 
This platform is free and sign up is required to use it. Let me sign up here. After sign up, confirm your email ID and then log in with the credentials. Here click on the marketplace and select the platform from where you want to buy the expired domains. This may be name, cheap, go daddy or any one that you like. In GoDaddy, there are many options. You can choose GoDaddy expired domain to get a list of all the expired domain. But I mostly prefer to have a list of domains that have a traffic. So select GoDaddy traffic domains. Here we have a list of domains and their matrices. BL means backlinks. WVY is the birth year of this domain and the most important metric to check is the traffic. Valuation is the prediction as per its algorithm and the number of bids, the time for its bidding that means when this bidding will stop. As we know all of the domains are not usable for us so let's apply some filters so that we have a desired domains only. Here in the filters, write down the keyword that are you looking for in your domains like if you want any specific keyword like SEO, technologies, appliances, etc. Write down that keyword here. And tick mark if you want your domain must not include like a hyphen, numbers or a character. Set it as for your interest. The next thing is set your language that is English. Set your domain per page that is 200 so that you have a maximum number of a list on a one page. Let's apply this filter. It is giving us a very less results. Let's click on this domain. Its wedding is going on a GoDaddy so it is showing here. Its current bidding price is listed here. You can bid from here, but you need a GoDaddy account which costs you around 400 500. You can check there. A total of 24 people have already bid on this domain, and every bidder's price is also listed here. You can see domain age from here and its related domains are also visible here. Let's apply more filter. In an additional tab, set the domain type if, you're, if you want to go specifically for a like .edu, .org or anything like. Apply the filter in the SEO tab if you like. The last tab is the Majestic. If you know the rule of a Majestic, it includes two factors. The first one is the Trust Flow and the second one is the Citation Flow. Trust Flow means the quality of backlinks. And Citation Flow means the quantity of a backlinks. So Citation Flow divided by Trust Flow is equal to Trust Ratio. If you apply this filter, it gives you a very limited result. One is the maximum trust ratio that is assigned to Google. Not and no any other website have a trust ratio equals to one. Due to the trust ratio, here we got a very less number of a result. Let's change the keyword to get more result. You can apply different keywords as per your preference or your uh, as per your niche. Suppose I like this website. Let's start evaluating this domain. First of all open this website. It is looking like this and is available for bidding on a GoDaddy because GoDaddy is written here. If you want to know the which kind of a website it was before expiring means its look and feel and a niche, then there is a website named archive.org. Let's open this website. 
it to take a screenshot of every website after some time and save it for future references we can check it if you have your website you can also check for your website enter the domain this is showing the years when the domain has a screenshot select the year from here and the date also this is a website that is related to entertainment or a movie i think so if you are looking for a domain with this niche then you can buy this domain and get instant traffic for this isn't it amazing instead of investing your time to get a traffic on your website and waiting a lot of time you can invest in these expired domains and get benefits the next thing to check is its da and a pa There are many website to check the DA and PA. Let's use any random website and enter the URL. Enter the URL and this domain has a 43 DA and a 45 PA which is amazing. I always prefer to choose a domain that has a TA more than 30. So this is an excellent option to go for. The next check is to check here is its an age. This domain is 24 year old. That is why it has a more bidding price. It is very important to check whether it is banned by Google any time or not because if Google ban any domain then there is a no worth buying this domain after whenever google ban any website it is impossible to rank those domains you can use a website search engine jenny.com here enter the url of a domain and you you can see it is not banned by google anyway The next thing is to check whether it is banned by Google AdSense at any at any time or not. You can use a bizadda360.com. This domain is not banned by the Google AdSense to the date. And the last thing to consider is to check its backlinks. You can use any paid tool if you have, or you can use free one also. I'm using the href free tool. I am providing the domain name here, and then I have a domain authority and a backlink here. Here it is showing the referring domain list. Well this is the whole process why which you can you can buy an expired domain and get entire active traffic and a backlink related to that domain The last thing to discuss here is that if you are planning to buy an expired domain but want to design a website then I recommend you to use your existing website instead of designing a new website and you can redirect the traffic using a redirection 301 Redirection is very easy. You can use your SEO plugin, whichever you are using, whether it's a rank math or anything else. So I recommend you to do a proper research and then buy domains. Never go for a high price domains because there are many domains that are available at a lower price. You can find a good domains under forty or fifty dollars. Just to require invest your time and get results. I hope this video will be helpful for you all. If you found this video informative then please subscribe to my channel and you can share this video with your family and your friends. Thanks for watching.